have already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Four of Swords and it's with the Four, four of Wands. So what this is telling me is that for some of you Libras, you, it looks like you needed time to heal. Yeah, the Four of Swords, the card that's above the word pass, it can indicate rest after struggle, or it could be just some type of healing that you you felt like you needed. Something could have happened between you and your person, or something was going on with you, and you, you just wanted rest. You needed healing. And this was supposed to be a good thing. And for a lot of you, it was because it made the connection stronger. Yeah. It made the connection take off to the next level. Because the Four of Wands is here. The Four of Wands is the card below the word pass. This is some type of celebration. Yeah. 11-11. Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. So this, this could mean that um, some healing took place. The connection became stronger. Uh, for some of you, it became more committed, more solid. And for some of you, you, you got married or some type of engagement. Maybe living in together took place after this healing. Proposal. Those are all the things you get with the Four of Wands. So, that's a recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got the Knight of Cups and it's with the Page of Wands. So, the Knight of Cups... It's showing that your person could be coming towards you. Um, the Knight of Cups rushes in being very romantic and sensitive. Yeah, rushes in. So, I don't know why, but I'm getting this feeling that for some, for some of you Libras, your person could be traveling maybe far. This could be a long-distance relationship for some of you Libras. Yeah, that's just what I'm get, getting with this Knight of Cups. Your person could be coming in to visit you. There's a lot, there's communication coming in with the Page of Wands. Messages of love with the Page of Wands, the card that's below the word present. So a lot of talk, being romantic, having a lot of passion. Passion is the Page of Wands. For some of you, your person is younger than you, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that indicates a student, youth, and maturity, or could just be someone younger than you, reaching out to you with a lot of love. Very excited. person's very excited about you. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the King of Cups, and it's with the Eight of Cups. Now, for some of you Libras, I should mention that some of you are dealing with Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Just some of you. That's what I'm getting with the Page of Wands here. But for the challenge, this King of Cups, um, it's with this Eight of Cups. Now, what I'm getting is that You, Libra, you could be going back and forth in your head about this connection. Because the King of Cups, 
uh, reaches out with a lot of love or is a very loving energy. And what's in the King of Cups hand? In his cup is love. So you've got love for this person, for the connection. But then sometimes you want to walk away. Because Eight of Cups is here. So you go back and forth between wanting to give to this in a very loving way. And then you want to just, sometimes you feel like abandoning the connection. Eight of Cups is walking away, moving on, leaving it behind. So you go back and forth. Wanting the love that your person is is giving and then you just sometimes you just want to just leave all this behind it could be that whatever this was that you were trying to heal from maybe you didn't heal from it completely but it looks like you're trying because you do reach out with a lot of love. You do got love for this person with the King of Cups here. Yeah, because whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that there's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. Whenever you see the King or the Queen of Cups, so there's a lot of love here. But sometimes you just want to leave it all behind. And just move on. But that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Ten of Wands. And so the Knight of Wands. Now this Ten of Wands. It's a card above the word outcome. As you can see clearly by the picture. It's showing a hard. It's showing hard times. He, he, as you can see he's walking forward. But he's actually about to fall backwards. So, you could feel like coming up, this is just too difficult. I'm just getting for some of you, you didn't heal like you thought you did. Yeah, when you took that rest. In the recent past, the Four of Swords, showing that you took a break or you, you, you tried to heal from something that could have been hurtful dealing with this person but it looks like it, it it's, could be coming back to haunt you or you just didn't heal like you thought you did or maybe your person is back to their bad habits or back to doing whatever caused you to want to heal because we do have this knight of wands here the knight of wands the card below the word outcome that's an in and out type of energy. So I'm getting a couple of downloads. This this Knight of Wands could be your person just in and out, not sticking around. And not giving this 100. And it makes you feel like they're just not being stable with this connection. And it's making it difficult for you to heal completely or for some of you Libras this Knight of Wands could be you just realizing that you don't want to give this 100% anymore or you do but it's just too difficult because you, you haven't figured out how to really heal from whatever hurt you or whatever you needed to heal from you haven't figured figured out how to really heal yeah, so the outcome could be you or your person. So that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, 
And what will happen between the two of you? In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also, don't forget to keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Yep, a family member. Mm -hmm. Or a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great month. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.